Welcome to your Go Market Update, charts of the day for Friday the 13th of October. Mike Smith here, saying that analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, US equities sustained mild losses after that CPI data was slightly warmer than expected, which sort of plays into the Fed narrative of prolonged higher interest rates. Today, earnings season kicks off in earnest with the big banks reporting, JP Morgan City Group among those releasing their numbers, but of course it ramps up over the next couple of weeks. U.S. futures are flat in early Asian trading with Asian markets generally following that weak U.S. lead. ASX is down around 0.5% but off the lows of the session, which were hit just after open. The VIX is slightly higher and European futures are pointing to a moderately lower open also at this stage. U.S. dollar index moved sharply higher after that CPI data to regain all of this week's previous losses. Gold managed to just hold around about neutral despite that U.S. dollar strength. Popper dropped a little bit in trading mid-range. Oil is neutral overnight despite escalation of the conflict in the Middle East. Bitcoin is holding around that 200 EMA after the drop earlier in the week. It is neutral in Asia so far today. And Chinese CPI and trade balance, euro industrial production and US consumer confidence and inflation expectations are all due today. Although, of course, earnings will be in focus prior to market open. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Now, we're going to start with the Aussie yen that dropped significantly after the inflation data came out last night and continue to do so throughout the night. Uh, we found a bottom towards the back end of the US session. And you can see there we've got some buying coming in into the Australian session. May initially be short covering, but it looks as though uh, there may be some sustainability to this potential rally. In the first instance, possibly up towards that 95 level which is about 28 pips from where we're trading right now, but could even make its way up to 95.40, worth keeping an eye on during the course of the day. On the ASX, some material stocks are doing actually quite okay. We've seen some strength in lithium, but also an NIC have got this long-term double bottom, which is forming here. Uh, around about 81 today, really had a nice move up over the last three trading sessions. Looks as though there's some buying pressure in and may have moved out of this downwards trend channel. In the first instance, we could expect it up around 87 to 88 cents. From here, that would be a move of around about 6.5%. Uh, ultimately, medium term, wouldn't be surprising to see it up around 92 and 93, but that would be a medium term play. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.